Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is Towns. It's a, a new game, it's a Dwarf Fortress-like game, it's on the Zura, as you can see. And um, it's uh, it's very much Dwarf Fortress inspired, actually. I think the developers actually came together on Toei's forum and uh, decided they to make a fan game themselves. And, well, they, there's a good version of it now, out now, and I've played it, and it's pretty cool. And I think most of you will like Dwarf Fortress, and watch my videos will probably like this, too. And um, let's just show you a little. It's uh, well, if you want to get it first, it's it's on Azure, as you can see. It's uh, ten euros, which is twenty-three thousand dollars or something. I don't know. Do the conversions yourself. If you can log into it, Azure, it'll show you. Um, but um, yeah, the actually the makers of the game were very nice, and they uh, actually gave me a copy for free. It's the only game I have on Azure at the moment, but uh, well, that's okay. But for now, let's just play it and let's show you a bit. Anyway, now you know where to get it. Um, now we actually start a game. And uh, as you can tell by the music, this is very much Dwarf Fortress inspired. It really is a, a graphical Dwarf Fortress game. It's really <laughs> what most of you have been waiting for, I bet. And um, let's start a new game and I'll show you the basics and uh, how to get started with this because the in the in yeah the start of the game the introduction can be pretty tough. Um, but you see, you have the game world here. You can move around with arrow buttons, but that's probably the only key you really need. You can also just do the edge scroll like a normal RTS game. And uh, well, you're dropped in a world with. Uh, which is randomly generated. It's every different every time, but from the looks of it, it also have, always has a river with a lake somewhere. And it's filled with uh, well, your dudes and, and uh, chickens, cows, trees, stuff, stone, more stuff, and uh, things like copper and iron. And yeah, it's very much dwarf fortress inspired. But you'll see in a moment how much even it is. Uh, first thing so, I want to look around this world and see if I can find some iron somewhere, since iron is very important in this game. Um, and I'm looking around the surface at these grey spots and uh, trying to find some dots in those. Like this one. This is a pretty big iron mine. Nice. Also, we will need coal later, but uh, since the iron is here, I'm going to start my fortress near here. Um, if my humans and my guys are actually on this side, because, uh, well, it's not a dwarf fortress, it's a uh, town's game with humans. Near, near here. Okay, um, and the iron was over here. Yeah. Well, let's show you how to, how to do something with this. It can be tough, but uh, here we go. First of all, like Dwarf Fortress, same idea. Um, we start with digging out some trees. And, and like Dwarf Fortress, you just create a zone. And all these trees will be cut down. Um, you can do the same with harvesting, which is very important in this game. It's sort of like um, the gather plants in Dwarf Fortress, but this will keep your humans alive. And that's basically the first thing you need to do. Chop down some trees, harvest some stuff, then let the game run. Your your dudes will come, your guys, your humans even, and uh, do all this work. Here they come. And yeah. And they leave resources, they leave the wood, and they go gather some plants and here they'll get some apples out of the trees. And they can use those. Well, now we gotta start. We got some wood to work with, and now we build a town, actually, basically. Um, and to do that, we need to start with walls. We really need to start with this. It's the weird part about this game. It took me a couple of tries to get my head around this, but you need to start with these decaying log walls and um, build a house around uh, out of them. Also, the trick you want to learn in this game: if you hold shift, then place something you can repeat it. So, I'm holding shift, and uh, now I can do this again and again and again, since I'm holding shift. Uh, if I wouldn't, I would have to, like, uh, select every tile myself, and go back here, and move, and move, and move, and move, and move, and you get the idea. But, um, well, you know, this is fine. Um, this cut needs to, push needs to go, and 
This is the right mouse button menu, which is a godsend. Most of the things in this game are managed with, uh, through this right mouse me uh, button menu. Um, you know what? I'll make a nice little house here. It's not really. It's four by four. I was planning to be five by five, but you know what? Four by four will be fine. Um, and let's make a second house here, and this will be built. So yeah, we let the game, letting the game run now, and. Uh, they're building the walls. This is very basic. And uh, once this is done, you have an area which has walls on all sides. It doesn't need to be completely filled, but there needs to be a wall on all, every side of this area. Like, this, there's nothing here now, but um, once it's done, I'll be able to do something with it. Um, I want to have more trees though, because I'm out of wood. So let's cut down some more trees. Floop. That should be enough for now. And uh, we'll wait until my dwarves come here. <laughs> or humans. Let's just uh, probably best to control my dwarves since I'm uh, just used to it. Um, choppy, choppy, choppy. Now they're bringing it back. And they're preferring that building for some magical reason. Please finish this one. Um, oh well, um, let's make some more. Holding shift and finishing these walls. Um, this works fine. Uh, need one here too. Okay. Please place this one. Oh, well, I can actually do things with these so now. So, so once you build these these walls, now you need to build a carpentry zone, like a, which is like a carpentry workshop in Dwarf Fortress, and yeah, place it in here. But yeah, these zones you can't place them just else anywhere outside. You need walls around them, or you need to build them downstairs. So before you can before you can go down into the caves, you need to build uh, a ladder, and you need a carpentry zone for that. So that's why I was going here. And uh, once the carpentry zone is built. So that's, that's by the zone menu here at the bottom. Um, you now need to put something in it. Uh, a utility. A carpentry bench. And all the shift again. Click, click, click. Let's make four at the moment. And you know what? Let's chop down some more trees while we're at it. And let's not starve my dwarves. Let's uh, harvest some more as well. Because, yeah, you can run out of food. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of items. You can build a whole lot of zones and items within them. Um, way on with the start. So, carpentry is built. Now I can actually build ladders, which is good. Um, let's dig down and see what's down here in, in the iron and the stone. And I'll need a lot of stone first, so I'm starting here. Um, this will probably be a nice corner to start. Let's have my dwarf dig out this. And oh, the dig command is like the channel command is dwarf fortress. It moves the floor of the tile. And um, yeah, remember that. Um, and mining is for removing whole tiles. But anyway, once this is done, you dig a little hole. You put in a ladder, which will automatically be built by these guys. And um, once that, when that is placed. My dwarves will be able to reach these down level because now I can actually use the mouse wheel or these buttons here to move levels up and down. And uh, this is just the second level, and I think there's like ten levels in total at the moment at least. And uh, well, let's dig some more. Um, let's see. I'm going to. I'm going by a two by two design. I'm going to see by three earlier, but um, two by two is fine too. Um, so digging out the uh, first, yeah, path in the mountain. And here's all the iron, which I should not really dig out right now, but it's okay. Yeah, I need stone more. Um, where is that ladder? It's over here. Same tiles. This one is this mud. You know what? Destroy the mud. And let's tile some more. Or mine some more. So. Remember, uh, digging to remove the floor, and mining to remove the normal tile, the wall. Yeah. 
very important to know. Um, so, my first digging uh, happening here, I'm finding some stone underground, iron, and uh, I can use those. Um, well, now I got some stone. I can actually go on with the production. Uh, I do not need to use this menu, but this one. Step 2 of production is a wood detailer. Build them in your carpentry zone. I'll build 4 here as well. You can't see them now. But, uh, when I press control, another button you like to learn, is uh, you make things see-through. So, that works. No, uh, no problems anymore. With, you can't see the thing. Okay, um, then it's already and not really, <laughs> not at least don't net yet with explaining. Still need to set up food, but I'm focusing on production first since production is very important. That it's it's hard to set up, and you try to do it first. That's my uh, advice for now. Um, so these things are built. You can't see them. Uh, you can now, and uh, let's build something with them. Um, the next step up is a carpentry zone, uh, a mason I mean. Uh, let's build that. Build a mason's bench in this little shack next to it. And uh, the mason's bench will need a mason bench. <laughs> the masonry zone will need, to need a mason's bench even. Uh, the problem is the mason's bench will need a stone hammer to build that. And as you can see there is not a stone hammer in this list. Um, this is pretty confusing since these menus have the same options, especially if you look at this items menu. This is uh, pretty much the same, and this is how the menus work. But what you gotta remember, uh, you use this menu to place something directly. To place uh, an item in the zone, and to, uh, if you uh, like, put down the blueprint and they can be built, the dwarves will do, build them themselves. Um, with this menu down here, you can build specialized items and you can like uh, build five carpentry zones ahead of time and you later you can place them. It uh, doesn't really matter which way you do. But for the mason's bench what you're going to get stuck on, as I did, is that you need those um, stone hammers and they're here. Uh, so go to items, go to utilities, go to stone hammers like build five, click on it five times don't click on it too much because your dwarves will build all those clicks and there's no way to see what your dwarves are trying to build at the moment. So be careful with that. Um, also let's chop down some more trees. You know what? There we go. Um, so maybe I, should, maybe I should make some stockpiles near too. Uh, stockpiles just like Dwarf Fortress. Um, yeah, let's make a raw material stockpile here. Um, big and let's uh, disable mud <laughs> see how fast this goes normally in Dwarf Fortress you go Q, go to menu, find the special option just find the button which disables it now you just right click the stockpile disable mud, that's it um, so my dudes are yeah, now sorting the stuff and stockpiling all the raw materials I uh, should do the same with the food. Mm, you know what? Let's make some more stockpiles here. Um, and let's chop these trees since they're in the way. And uh, how about a little prepared stockpile, food stockpile, and a raw sto food stockpile, and a word pile. Um, how about some utilities, furniture. Um, so that's a whole lot. Uh, ice are basically monster drops. Basically, they, you can make armor and weapons out of them, and monster drop ice. Uh, military is for weapons, and decorative is for decorative stuff. Well, I built one of every stockpile, so everything will be sorted nice and easily. This can all be optimized and yet yeah, changed around, and you can. Set all the options with, all the, with the right mouse, mouse button menu. Um, looks like I got enough apples for my guys. And uh, looks like things are going fine down there. Um, okay, uh, I think those tongs were built. Uh, those hammers, even. Tongs. 
Yeah, they were. So now they're built and dragged away. I can actually build that mission bench and move one step up in production. Let's build three here to be sure. Or, you know what? Four to make it even. Um, oh, my dwarves can actually make st stone stuff. The next step up is uh, forging. But you need uh, iron and coal to do that. And we don't have any coal yet. Let's, uh, but yeah, before we go and do all that, maybe it's smarter to set up some food production first. That uh, sounds like a good idea. Um, yeah, how are we going to do that? I'm going to do that outside. Yeah. Well, food is sort of like Dwarf Fortress also. Like Dwarf Fortress is going to be said a lot in this video, but yeah. And uh, you till a zone, it's like farming, and build farms onto that, and farms are usually 3x3, three three, so you want to go at 3x3, three three or 6x6, six 9x9, six, nine nine, those sort of settings. Um, you know what, I'll go 6x9, um, is this 9? It is. Okay, don't make it too big, because uh, tilling a zone has preference on other orders, and there's no real way to manage the order, just use one dwarf to like farm all the time. It's uh, it's standardized. All these guys can do everything, and they will do everything when given a chance. And tilling is uh, very high importance. So the dwarves, uh, once you till something like this, the dwarves will stop everything and go do this first. And that can be problematic. But as said, this is just an alpha game. It's it's very much a very early version of the game. It still crashes sometimes, but uh, that's okay. That's it, alpha. Um, let's see. Now this zone is tilled. Now I can actually make some farms and let's make some wheat farms. And I should hold shift to be smart. Let's make like four wheat farms and two big farms. Should be more than enough. These uh, produce a lot of wheat, and these produce a whole lot of pigs. Way more pigs than you'll ever need. And this should be enough food. But, um, this food needs to be... Um, the word needs to be changed and... Uh, to... Yeah, changed. To, made, to be made into something edible. And for the grain, you need a mill. And you can build it easily from this menu too. You need some wood, I think. Stone, stone, stone and wood. Yeah, it's fine, as long as you have stone, um, which I still have. Okay, um, well, that is busy. I need to do some more production rooms down here. I need a kitchen, and a baker, and all the things. Let's, um, well, let's stick to the 4x4 design, since the uh, yeah, rooms are made that way. Um, Let's add another one here, and I should hold shift. Yep. Um, this should work fine for now. Yeah, a dining room, a hospital, a kitchen, and a bakery. Maybe some food stockpiles too while we're at it. Um, well, those are outside for now. That's the, also digging has also has a very high priority. And go ahead, up a level. Also, again, use the mouse bell wheel to do that. And uh, I think I'm out of wood, so let's chop some more trees. Uh, let's chop all of the trees. And uh, got enough stone, I think. Yeah. Well, they should be almost done. There you are. Okay, now we'll set up some more zones inside for food production. Um, let's see. I'm going to be, want my dining room close to the central staircase. This is sort of my central staircase of fort. It's the one tile, but that's how this game works. Um, I can't make it bigger, but I think it doesn't really matter. Uh, um, anyway, zones. Need more zones? Let's start with the dining room. Let's do that over here. And let's add a hospital for if any dwarves or guys are sick. Let's add a bakery which will make most of my foodstuffs. And the kitchen is for the advanced foodstuffs, but let's create it now anyway. And this is like the outside 
creating these zones. Um, you need to have a room with walls on four sides, which these have, so it's okay. Um, well, now these will be built. Um, now the bakery needs some more items. Um, from the utilities menu, yeah. A baker's table, let's uh, make a couple like here. Four should be fine, and a baker's oven. Which you need a masonry bench for, which is normally where you get stuck and you die out of uh, having not enough food for your dwarves. Since, yeah, took me, like, <laughs> you know, didn't notice already, like, the first two, three times I died horribly in this game. <laughs> but that's, that's Dwarf Fortress, that's, that's yet another way this game is like Dwarf Fortress. Um, Dwarf Fortress, Dwarf Fortress, Dwarf Fortress. Um, word, word, word. Okay. Here's the bakers. All built. Nice. Now, um, making items and making food it does not go automatically. You need to do it by the menu. The items button here is the, yeah, one of the most used buttons in the game. Remember it. Um, it's hard to, to see here sometimes because there's an X over here and you think it's like it's the exit and there's probably nothing but items is very important. So, to wheel something, to, to make something neat, you go to food. And uh, here we have a lot of options. Um, the, one of the easiest options is for bread, which will just use some flour. Another easy one is apple pies and pear pies. And uh, just make a couple of those and your dwarves will make those when they'll get the chance. Um, let's, uh, let's watch them make something. Uh, this one actually made some bread. Has both the tables and uh, it will do its job. Nice. Okay, um, well that's food production up and done. Uh, kitchen, I could make one now, but yeah, I need a stove to actually make it and I need forging to actually go do that. Um, so, next step in getting, getting up in this game. Uh, I guess it really is forging. Also, let's show you why this game is actually named Towns after 20 minutes. <laughs> Like this, these these walls these seem pretty simple, but you can actually make houses of these, and uh, that's pretty easy. Just close the room with a door, and the game will do the rest automatically. Let's uh, keep it at uh, not at see through, but like this. Give the dwarf the guys a little bit of time to do things, and <laughs> suddenly has a roof. And yeah, control to. Make it invisible, uh, but yeah, like this you can make whole lots of nice towns. And you have multiple types of stone and wood walls and anything you can make. Uh, if you, anything we want outside, and there's more than enough stone, so yeah, stone walls are usually the way to go. Um, let's show you a stone house while we're at it. Uh, like a little bit of wall, build one here. Um, let's see. Uh, four by four was the idea. Let's start with this for um, this for again, and have the entrance like that. Sure. Okay. And the guys are already placing the walls. And what? Um, wonder if I can build a door in there already. Also, the door can be built because I have the carpenter bench already. So. Yeah, that's uh, why you really should try to focus on production. Once you have built these, these workshops, the, door, the guys will do most of the stuff themselves. And actually, I could build that door already there now. It's not like Dwarf Fortress where you need uh, two walls next to which to be able to build it. And uh, it's almost done. Um, I think I should be able to place the zone in there now. Let's place that forge zone uh, from here till here. Yeah, and uh, there we go, we have our forge. Uh, <laughs> now the roof is complete. Um, well, we have our forge building, but no for actual forge yet. Um, to build a forge, we'll need iron and copper. And uh, uh, copper and coal, I mean, iron and coal. So I need to find some coal now. But I didn't find anything. On my first route, look. Uh, first look around, even. 
using some coal somewhere on the surface. It's a black spot somewhere. Probably here. Hmm. Maybe I should pause the video while I do this. <laughs> yeah, I should. Okay, pausing. Alright, I did a good look around, but I couldn't find any surface coal. Well, that's not really a problem. Let's, um, let's try digging this gravel instead. Maybe there's coal uh, near the gravel. So, to dig, first, yeah, channel dig again. And uh, place a ladder when that's done. Also, I should resume the game. Um, and uh, let's harvest some more to be safe. To be safe, harvest a lot. That's the best tip I can give you, since um, one thing you need to take care of is that food can rot. You, and all normal items too, you just leave them outside for too long, they'll suddenly be gone, be disappeared. So, uh, be careful with that, and uh, give your dwarves a lot of uh, these, uh, these harvest commands, since you'll always, build and always have apples. So these pigs are being uh, built. <laughs> Sort of, they'll just spawn out of the pig farm and they'll keep spawning there for, you know, forever. Um, let's see if that uh, hole down here near the gravel is built. Uh, it is. Okay. Let's build a ladder on top of it. Let's go down and uh, let's mine out a little room here. Let's see if there's anything interesting. So I think my dwarves are eating, or my guys are eating. Yeah. It was just in time at giving it a harvest command. Well, how is the food stock down here? I actually have some extra pies. You know what, since I have some extra apples, uh, do we have some extra... Uh, no. Uh, wheat even. Maybe we should make more farms. Maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, maybe it's one farm per dwarf, or uh, maybe less, I think less. But, uh, well, that's something for you guys to figure out on your own. Or something to be put on a wiki sometimes. Um, and there's probably a wiki for this already. I don't know, I haven't tracked it exactly. <laughs> so, I saw some video tutorials on YouTube and figured the rest out myself. Um, let's make some pies to be sure. Apple pies and pear pies and, uh, okay. And, uh, how is the hole doing? Fine. She should be, yeah, some stuff being dug out here. Um, let's mine some more. I need to find the, need to find the coal. Um, you know what? Let's dig down a level more. Since then we'll need <laughs> um, the caves. Because this game, just like Dwarf Fortress, has caves down, down, uh, down below. And uh, they're filled with monsters. They're not. Generally, this is nasty, at, not, at least not in the first levels as in Dwarf Fortress. Well, before I do that, maybe I should make some weapons too. You know what? Using items, military, weapons. Uh, making these stone spears pretty easy with stones and woods in a mason bench. So let's make a couple of those. You know what? Like seven or eight. Of course, we'll build them. Okay, now this has been opened. We'll build a ladder here. Done. Is there anything down there? Not yet. There's probably something else in this level three. Um, close that menu. And, uh, wait until everything is done. Food stockpiles going great here. Um, probably could use some more trees. Don't see any trees outside. Also, the trees outside regrow, so don't be scared to get away too many trees. All these bushes grow into trees after a while, so it's okay. You can cut some trees. There's no elves to, uh, to bother you about it here, uh, at least this version. Um, uh, going on. Uh, 30 minutes already, but still not done. I'd like to get forging up and then uh, show the caves. And we can call an end to this uh, introduction video to the towns. Yeah. Um, they're doing something, chopping the wood probably. Still no sign of coal. 
once I think, go down in that level, I'll probably reach something. Uh, first, I'd like to have some spears, though, and actually, I do. Uh, nice. Um, yeah. Well, those will get built. Oh, I need more stone, too. Let's uh, take out some more rooms here. Um, let's keep this design. It should leave a little bit more stone. Um, and um, yeah, let's send them down here too. This is uh, the lower level here. Let's uh, mine out something. It's pretty big. Probably a cave somewhere nearby. Um, oh. And well, I do that. I probably also want a military. Military, you start with uh, the building, the barracks building, and uh, this little tent, and build it somewhere. Not sure on the direction, it needs a whole lot of stone. Oh, and something is happening. Let's pause the game. Um, giant spider attempts to bite certain evil mm, Somewhere here? Yeah. So down a couple of levels, now you can see a whole lot more stuff here. So let's close that menu. There's whole lots of spiders and slimes and tiny spiders and giant spiders and a whole lot of stuff. Here's the uh, iron ore under my village, so if I dug down here, I would have been in the caves. So that's why it's nice to do that somewhere outside of the village. So let's see if there's some coal here. Coal, 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 copper. Also nice stone, stone, uh, copper please game, uh, coal please game, even. I'll ask you to write a request to the game, to of course. Nothing. Me. Okay, um, well then. And we'll just dig down some more and see if we can find some coal that way. Let's uh, dig here. Also, this guy is fighting, but these giant spiders, they're not that tough. Usually an unarmed guy will uh, be able to attack them, but actually we can arm them. Um, with the right click ma mouse button on a guy, you can equip them with something like a weapon and one of these spears which I made. Which have like random Diablo style stats, so uh, yeah, have fun with those. Um, actually, give some defense and damage too. This one is the best, let's give that to you. You can also have a spear on you. Um, another one of five. You are fine. Let's continue the game and let's see him fight. Um, you can also equip something since you're here. Another one of these fives, and this one should be fine. And uh, they'll should walk towards my um, stockpile of weapons and get yourself a spear. Oh, here we saw one. And the dwarves walk around with the spears, as you can see them. It's, it's, it's graphical, it's a graphical aim, and it's great. <laughs> um, I can actually see things. And. Uh, yeah, plan to dig down more, but first this needs to be done. Also, you can also equip something, uh, Henry. Uh, I think most of those other spears are taken. You too. Let's give everyone a spear. Maybe I should have done this once. And he punched the spider, and the giant spider dies. Oh, that's a smart man. He has, he has a spear on him. Um, well, that's done. Now we dig down again. Don't see anything here yet, so let's mine something. And hopefully it'll have coal. But the last three games I had had coal at the surface, so... I'm having a lot of problems now with you shot not, I think. It, well, it's, it's random, randomly generalized. And Edmund here is trying to get in uh, the giant spider. Him and pierce him. 
Uh, also these guys are pretty smart. If you have a hospital, so this is, this is spider right by the way, if you have a hospital and they are hurt, they will go to the hospital when they are at low HP and rest there. So having a hospital is very important. And that's why I already made one. Um, should fill that before we go on. And let's fill the dining room too. Let's um, yeah, like this. Fill the dining room with some some tables and some chairs. Um, fill the hospital with a couple of beds and a medicine cabinet, which is under here, and only need a mason's bench. So, um, also that only works for the military, and um, we should set up that too. Okay, so we're going to take one of these guys. Uh, preferably be one which has a lot of HP and attack and things, and this is pretty random. 21, 19, 21, yeah, you are going to be Soldier Benedict. And uh, 20 is fine. You're going to also going to be a soldier. I have five dwarves, five citizens, and two soldiers. Oh! And <laughs> I just discovered that you can go next citizen button and previous soldier and next button, <laughs> soldier buttons. Did I not know that? <laughs> well, you learned something even while you're making a tutorial video. Um. So, uh, Benedict uh, is now in the military, I think, and yeah. Uh, the military guys, they will grab the best gear uh, well, you will equip them with and go into the caves and try and kill everything. That's pretty stupid, but uh, it will work. Out. This is the level 4, which is a lot of goblins, and uh, probably would not want some iron and um, armor before I send my dwarves there. Every time dwarfs, every time. <laughs> uh, um, so, here is Goal. On the other side of the map. On the side of the river, too, even. Um, well, that's far away. And I got 37 minutes already, god damn. Anyway, this place is amazing. Well, military dwarves will start cleaning it out pretty soon. Um, let's take a look at him. Uh, Sydney is fighting a spider. It fails. And well, she's actually bruised. Still has 11 HP. But, uh, nope. Yeah, when she's hurting, she will go back to the hospital. Let's show that, and it should be the end of the video. Um, Let's see. Shame that I didn't find any goals clear close to me. Um, so he is done, I think. Or no, I paused the game. That doesn't help, of course. Pretty pee Giant spider dead, and there she goes, probably back to the fortress. Oh, or just down a level. Right, up a level actually. Save you. Oh, they can die to giant spiders. <laughs> okay. Um, she was probably hurt trying to return to the hospital, but... Uh, yeah, the spiders were in the way. She couldn't go because the spiders were blocking the path back to my fortress. Uh, oh, also, here's the other guy. Uh, Benedict, and he's actually healing in the hospital, doing his job. And while well, you can't carry on the rest of the game, uh, yeah, healing himself up, then going back into the caves, trying to kill some monsters, and if he dies, he'll come back out again. It's pretty basic at the moment, but he'll get the job done. Actually, you don't have to look around since he will heal himself normally. But, yeah, he can die sometimes. Like previous run, I was playing like an hour, and they never seemed to die to giant spiders, so I guess Satan he was really unlucky. Um, I think I've covered uh, most of the things I want in this video, except the coal and the forging. Well, you know what? You can, you know how the coal looks like now, and you'll get probably figure out how to uh, find it yourself. Let's just tell you how you make that forge, um, and uh, let you do that 
by first you need to build some tongs and that's using the bottom item menu just like with the stone hammers it's here actually this needs iron, iron and wood which need, does not need a coal but later on you will need them so make a couple of those when those are done uh, the, get the build you also need some stone hammers and don't have any extra of that those, so let's build two of those to be sure of course, we'll build them when they have the chance. Also, I forgot to harvest quite a while now. Like, harvest every 10 minutes at least. Mm. Give him that job. Hope someone goes here. Well, when those tongs are built, uh, then you can move on and actually build it. the anvil in here. As you can see, you need tongs, iron, and the stone hammer to actually build it. It's one of the most hard items to build in the game at the moment. It's not ex that expensive, but you just need to know how which order you're doing these things in. And um, we'll probably cancel now since I don't have these items. Or maybe they're actually built already. Uh, just not visible at the moment. Uh, this guy is still fighting, or he isn't. Someone's fighting in green slime. <laughs> Well, that's the caves. Also, we have the spiderite. You need those for advanced weapons and stuffs. It's also a forging thing. You need a smelter and anvil. Uh, once the anvil is done, you build smelter. That will a lot of iron. Once the anvil is done, you build the ice smithy, because with which you need some spiderite for. So you need to kill some spiders to build actually build this thing. This really is the hardest thing to build at the moment. In this version of beta, of course, of uh, if the alpha even. It would be nice if they could create those tongs, but um, they're probably out of wood. Cutting down a whole lot of trees. Let's cut down some more. Because I think I can build um, uh, the the forge without it. Also, you, these log walls are starting to disappear. That's the problem of log walls. They'll disappear after a while. The room will stay functioning forever. It's okay. It'll just look look ugly, and you can't replace it or anything. But uh, why would you want to? And as you can see, yeah, I have a lot of pigs. They keep spawning. You get to kill them with kill pig, but you need like a kitchen to cook it, which I do not have. First, I need this smelter. Um, let's see three buildings. Now, actually, some tongs. Did get made, and there's a stone hammer over here, and there's stone over here, and there's iron. Should be able to build that forge now. Yeah. Please do it, uh, guys. And downstairs is looking rather nice. Oh, yeah, also, you could make a. Uh, should make personal bedrooms just like to our fortress. Um, make them a little bit smaller than 4x4 normally, but uh, place them like, like this. And um, same rules apply. Place a door in front, place a bed in it, and anything else is bonus. You'll, your guys will like that a lot. Like uh, a wooden cupboard so they can store some stuff, and maybe a bench or a wooden table in it. Don't need to, it's. it's Basic at the moment, there's no no nobles demanding stuff of you yet, so yay for that. Um, I think I'm about just about done there. Now that is most of the stuff which is in the beta. Well, after this is done, you will need to spend a whole lot of time and make some iron armor and get your dwarves, get your military dwarves, and try and clear out these caves. And when they're cleared out, go down the level uh, and go down and go down some more and I think this is probably something on floor 10 I don't know I've not gone deeper than floor 4 or something 5 probably as max um, let's see oh, here's some of the spider right here I see some goblin eye too the forge is actually built now yes uh, when the forge is built build also a smelter uh, let's build two here once those are built, you can build the item smithy. 
And uh, that's all pollution the rest of the items in the game. Oh, well, if this is almost done, I can actually build a kitchen too. Um, let's build the kitchen and the forge or the uh, stove which is used to cook pork. And uh, yeah, that's the, most of the basics you need to know. It's 40 minutes long already. But uh, well, let's, least, let's do two and a half hours like that one Dwarf Fortress video I did. Fortress video, even. Anyway, um, yeah, from here on, the, the world is your oyster. You know, you know how to do the things, you know how to build these things in order. Start with the log walls and uh, make a carpentry zone with the bench and the tailor first. Don't go for the masonry first, like in Dwarf Fortress. And um, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, play it a couple of times. And uh, oh yeah, apparently there is a bug at the moment. Uh, do not build spiderite boats. That'll that that'll be probably be fixed by the weekend. Too. Um, anything else I really need to say to you guys? Which any information you need? Mm. Uh, you can build mines too. I'm not sure how they work really. You build them on iron or coal or anything, and you need some torches to make those torches work via this menu, like the other ones. And they're supposed to mine down and draw, give you iron sometimes. I'm not sure. I you can build them. They've been built. I've seen them built, but have not seen dwarves actually use them or having iron pop out of it. But uh, I said this game is an alpha. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, end the video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I I hope you'll. Uh, take a look at this game. It's uh, available now on the Zura. You can uh, support it now. I think the plan of developers is to get it to Steam one day, but uh, that'll probably take a while. The Zura is the way to go at the moment, and the Zura is more friendly towards indies anyway, so get it there if you want to support it. And, um, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> 45 minutes long. But, uh, this is Towns. It's, uh, I, I bet a lot of you are waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Because, uh, we're in real. <laughs> I, I sort of was too. Um, yeah. Okay, now, well, let's actually, actually, actually end the video now. Don't really have anything more to say. Um, no, can't think of anything. I'll, uh, see you guys in the future. Later, guys.